I'm with Jeremy Corman, former labor leader of the British Labor Party. We're here in Washington. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. I have two questions for you. One about Julian Assange. I just came back from Australia yesterday. The story seems to be there. There was an ABC correspondent who said that uh, he heard from people in the Labour government in Australia that he would, Assange would be released within two months. I'm highly skeptical of that. He said that if one call from uh, Anthony Albanese, the Prime Minister, to Joe Biden would get him released, I don't think that would I, be sufficient. What do, you, what do you make of what's going on? I there? would love that to be the case, and I would love to believe that was going to happen. And obviously, I hope that Albanese does make those calls, does make that demand in Australia stands up for Julian Assange, but there is um, some legal hurdles that we're going through at the moment in the UK, and whoever gave you this information is correct to say that the ball is in Joe Biden's court, because it was the US that filed the appeal um, originally. But there is, of course, also a legal process going on in support of Julian Assange. I'm here in Washington to speak at the a Belmarsh Tribunal for Assange tomorrow and to me it is fundamental to our freedom and right to know and for journalists to be able to act freely and independently. This is about journalistic freedom. Julian Assange has now been three years in a maximum security prison most of that time as a remand prisoner because the short sentence he got on bail issues has long been spent. And uh, his conditions are appalling. His mental health is seriously damaged as a result of it. And the determination of the United States to extradite him to the US where he will get a mandatory sentence of over a hundred and something years, it's ludicrous. It will be a death sentence for him, they know that. So I'm here to say to anyone in the United States, anyone in the United States who seriously supports the right to know and journalistic freedom, stand up for Julian Assange. The issue isn't complicated. A journalist is in prison for exposing the truth.